Hey YouTube, welcome to DevOps Directive. In this video, I'll be attempting to create and deploy a website to Google Cloud Platform in less than five minutes. I'm using Hugo, a static site generator, Caddy as the web server, and deploying that to a compute engine virtual machine running container optimized OS. I've shared the script that I used to actually do this on GitHub, as well as published a blog post that I'll link to in the description below. I'm planning to make a future video in which I go into depth on all the different components and configurations used, so if that sounds interesting to you, feel free to click the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here's the attempt. Ready? Go. Because most of the time spent in the deployment process for this site is waiting on Google to provision various resources, I've edited down the five minutes into about a one minute sequence and I'll voice over what's actually happening. First, we create the Hugo site, which takes just a few seconds. We then create the GCP project itself. It took about 20 seconds, at which point we have to link a billing account. This was the one step that I couldn't find a good way to automate, so I had to do manually. Once the billing account is linked, we enable uh, two key APIs, the Compute Engine API, where we're gonna provision uh, our virtual machine, and then the next one that'll happen here in a second is the container registry API where we'll push our images. We reserve a static IP address to be able to map our domain to. We add two firewall rules, one on port 80 for HTTP traffic and one on port 443 for HTTPS traffic. This will enable web traffic to actually make it to the instance. We finally get to create the Compute Engine instance itself, which will use that static IP and those firewall rules uh, within its configuration. We then need to configure the Docker install on that virtual machine to be able to interact with the Google Container Registry. At this point, we're ready to go. We build the container locally containing the static website files as well as the web server. We push that container image to Google Container Registry. And then we issue the command to actually run our web server. And once that comes up, we'll be able to load the web page. Woo, all right. Four minutes, 25 seconds, nice. Five minutes later, we're ready to start adding content and customizing that site. I'm Sid with DevOps Directive. See you in the next one.